Hello everybody from Plant Reviews, today the 23rd of March and I'm talking now about Narcissus Tazetta um, subspecies Aureus. Uh, Narcissus Tazetta is a species of daffodil uh, that uh, it is at the origin of several hybrids and varieties in cultivation uh, that according to the garden classifications of daffodils uh, belong to the group 8 that Tazetta varieties and hybrids, even if uh, in this classification Narcissus Tazetta is considered a species, so in a different group, uh, in a group different than actually the varieties and the hybrids, even if obviously the Narcissus Tazetta is a lot uh, closer, uh, closely related to the group 8 uh, Narcissi, such as the Avalanche or the Martinet or the um, uh, Grand Monarch, Silly White, uh, basically uh, the most fragrant uh, daffodils in my opinion, uh, rather than other uh, species in the garden classification of the daffodils species, because in the species classification uh, basically uh, it is an artificial group where it is um, classified every wild species of daffodil, uh, even if completely unrelated, so you can find Narcissus Tazetta with Narcissus Cyclaminius and Narcissus Poeticus and Narcissus um, um uh, and Narcissus uh, viridiflorus uh, or uh, Narcissus jonquilla that are uh, not really closely related to Narcissus tazetta. Anyway, talking about uh, the Narcissus tazetta, uh, this is a, a plant that is a perennial bulbous plant, uh, that, so it develops from bulbs and it is in the family Amaridillidase in the genus obviously Narcissus. Uh, Narcissus tazetta, uh, the nominal species, so the tazetta Tazetta is one of the tallest daffodils can reach uh, up to 80 centimeters tall. Uh, my plant, uh, however, is uh, of a different subspecies, uh, that is uh, the Aureus. Uh, most Tazetta, including Narcissus Tazetta, uh, subspecies Tazetta, have white tepals and yellow cap, uh, yellow corona, uh, while this one has both uh, yellow uh, tepals and yellow cap, even if, as you can see, the yellow cap, the yellow corona, is a lot is of a much more intense yellow than the uh, than the tepals. Um, the leaves of Narcissus Tazetta are quite flat and thin, uh, bluish, uh, bluish green, as you can see, and uh, the, uh, they uh, can be uh, about 40 centimeters long and about 1.5 centimeters wide. Uh, the umbels of Narcissus Tazetta bear several flowers uh, that, as I said, are usually white with a yellow corona. Narcissus Tazetta is a Mediterranean species uh, and, is, and is quite widespread throughout the Mediterranean. Mediterranean, uh, from Portugal to Turkey, including Southern Europe and Northern Africa, and uh, some parts of the Eastern Asia, obviously, like Turkey. Um, however, uh, Narcissus Tazetta is naturalized in other parts of Asia, as well as uh, North America and South America. Uh, there are six subspecies recognized of Narcissus Tazetta, and uh, I have this one, indeed, Narcissus Tazetta uh, subspecies. Species uh, Aureus uh, that is uh, characterized, as I said, by uh, yellow flowers. In Latin, Aureus means uh, golden. Uh, Narcissus Tazetta subspecies Aureus uh, is also known with the synonym Narcissus Bertoloniae, and it is native uh, to uh, a, a, an area of the Mediterranean Sea, uh, so obviously to a <laughs> Mediterranean area uh, that includes the southeast of France, uh, Sardinia, the northwest of Italy, uh, Algeria and Morocco. Even if I found on uh, the Daffodil group on Facebook uh, that uh, Narcissus Tazetta Aureus uh, might be uh, native also to Greece, to some parts of Greece. Uh, Narcissus Tazetta is a very fragrant species of uh, Narcissus and the uh, subspecies Aureus uh, is not an exception. Uh, I believe that in comparison to most Tazetta 
Vitas uh, varieties and hybrids that have been in bloom uh, in this uh, in the past uh, days. Uh, this one has uh, a, a scent that is a little bit less sweet and a little bit more citrusy, so it's still a sweet sight, a sweet, a sweet scent, a very nice fragrance. Uh, however, I can detect citrus uh, notes. About the fragrance of uh, Narcissus Tazetta, uh, it is uh, peculiar in this species that uh, the fragrance uh, contains a compound uh, that is found only in few other plants and is called uh, Orsinol Dimethyl Ether. And this uh, substance, this volatile compound, is almost undetectable to the human nose. However, it is very attractive to honeybees. Uh, indeed, uh, it was found uh, comparing uh, uh, the few few other species that uh, uh, secrete this uh, orsinol dimethyl ether, including the rose, that even uh, roses that uh, to the human nose uh, are completely scentless actually produce uh, orsinol dimethyl ether and they are still attractive to bees. Uh, a little bit like uh, uh, many flowers that uh, to sometimes to the human eye don't look uh, very colorful on the look particularly striking but when seen at the ultraviolet light that is um, that the honeybees see clearly are um, absolutely uh, different in color and uh, also can present uh, striking patterns so it's a nice reminder that uh, flowers uh, especially obviously the wild species of flowers uh, have evolved uh, not to please humans but to please obviously their pollinators and ensure reproduction and then sometimes for coincidence they are also pleasant to humans and um, Narcissus Tazetta is one species of Narcissus that is grown commercially for its essential oil, uh, so mostly in southern France, as well as uh, one hybrid between Narcissus Tazetta and Narcissus Poeticus, that is also another Narcissus very famous for its fragrance. Even if, in my opinion, uh, the Narcissus Poeticus I grew last year, that is the Narcissus Poeticus Recurvus, is nowhere close uh, as a fragrance uh, as the Tazetta. However, uh, there might be some uh, other populations of the Poeticus uh, that uh, might be a lot more fragrant. So, as usual, in nature and among plants, uh, uh, as well as uh, among uh, every other living organism, the, you have always to consider some variations among, uh, some variations among individual. Uh, about uh, this uh, Narcissus, uh, Actually, as usual for most of the Narcissi, the bulls need to be planted in autumn um, when they are available online or in garden centers or sometimes even in supermarkets. Even if this subspecies in particular is not very common, I bought it uh, from um, a specialist nursery in Daffodils and uh, so they need to be planted in autumn and then uh, between late autumn and winter they will start developing the leaves and then they will bloom uh, between uh, autumn and spring according to the variety uh, Tazetta aureus uh, is blooming now so between uh, late uh, winter and uh, very early spring and uh, then after the uh, blooms fade uh, the foliage will uh, remain green for a while but after uh, some weeks uh, it will start dying down as actually I can see some of the leaves are already dying down so between late spring and early summer uh, the foliage will lie down and the bulbs go dormant. It's very important to uh, not to water ideally the bulbs um, if they are in a pot or if they are in a garden and they are next to plants that need uh, in summer watering. Try to uh, put them in, um, try to water them as uh, uh, less as possible still because obviously the bulbs can rot. Or another option is lifting the bulbs in uh, summer and then replant them in uh, in autumn to ensure that uh, they are able to uh, be kept dry. Anyway, I had a lot of narcissi in the ground. As long as you plant them in well-drained soil, uh, the occasional watering is not uh, deleterious for them, but obviously uh, do not... Uh, um, 
uh, do not make the ground uh, waterlogged because uh, uh, as uh, many bulbs uh, they are very sensitive to rotting. Uh, as usual I hope that you enjoyed the video, uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, uh, if you like this video would be great if you can please give it a thumbs up and if you like this video and the other videos of my channel would be great if you can please subscribe it is completely free for you but in this way um, YouTube uh, uh, get a knowledge that uh, people like my videos and uh, like my YouTube channel and therefore helps me uh, to uh, promote and grow my YouTube channel thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time